you for coming along. It was a good night, wasn't it? It was absolutely brilliant. It was good yeah, fun. I really, really enjoyed it. It was lovely as well to see the winners, and there were some surprises in there as well. No, it was so. good, wasn't it? And you also, look, there you are. Stunning. <laughs> now, you are very interested in fashion, so much so you do your own line, really. I mean, you're, you're certainly designing things. Yeah, yeah, I work with my friend Kate, and we've got a label together, and one oh. of the dresses that I wore last night, um, that was from our label, and again, at the Soap Awards. So, yeah, I have a real interest in it. So it was lovely mm. to be there last night and see what the viewers, you know, are voting for and what sure. they want and everything. So, yeah, it was a great night. Now, what about in Emmerdale land? and the style of your character. Yeah. Because I guess, um, you can't really call her glamorous, I don't think, although she's not, but she scrubs up rather well. She's glamorous in a different way. Yes, <laughs> she absolutely. Is, yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, prior to the recent storyline, you know, we saw that she she loved the short skirt, she loved mm. the look up top and everything, um, but obviously her style's evolved quite a lot recently. You yeah. know, she's put a lot of stuff away. But the good thing is, is with this new life that she wants to create, oh she's God, kind of trying to get back to her old self ending. again. So we yeah. are seeing a few more things coming back into our Because it it's been a very, very tough uh, storyline that has. What's been the reaction to that, the fact that she, you know, she was assaulted by, by a kid, basically? Mm -hmm. I mean, 14 years old. Um, and it's, you know, it has attracted a lot of attention. Um, and I think it's helped a lot of people as well. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, um, it was a very brave storyline mm -hmm. for Emmerdale to do, you know, one that I was very much in full support of because there were wider issues that um, Emmerdale was exploring, you know, it wasn't just a story of sexual assault, it was why why would that young boy do yes. that? And that's what I think's been very interesting, you know, in terms of parents that have come to me and said, I'm really glad that, you know, Emmerdale have highlighted this because I worry what my child's doing in the bedroom and mm, everything. And This is watching streams. Yeah, watching things, on, things the on the internet. internet. And things that are, you know, people having a responsibility of what's accessible to young people as yeah, well you know the bigger so. companies you need to they need to really take stock of that mm. so that's been great and the reaction has been very very positive for for myself and for Emmerdale which I'm really really proud of no very much so because I think I think though what, what I like about the way Emmerdale tackles things like that is it's not just done as oh we're going to highlight this issue it does come out of character because if it doesn't come out of the characters then it's not going to work absolutely you, know, you can tell there was a build-up to that and mm -hmm. you can tell that there was something wrong with that kid yeah. You know, clearly there was. Um, and then all the lies that were told. And then eventually he does apologise, doesn't he? Eventually. Yeah, I mean, we, we saw that just um, a couple of weeks ago yes. that she was um, trapped in the car That's with him. Right, and yeah. he, you know, it was Belle with, obviously, Lisa had, had been raped previously. Mm. And she said, you know, she got through to him. She was the only one that managed to get through to him. And so Alicia did have that moment of kind of having a bit of closure because he didn't show any remorse and she couldn't move on from that, thinking, mm. well, you've learnt nothing. So this experience sure. has been for nothing. But... When he did apologise, that allowed her to kind of close the door a little bit mm. and then look towards this new life. I know. Now, what's going to happen? Can you tell us? I bet you can't. Oh, <laughs> I can tell you a little bit. I can't right. tell you too much. Sure. Um, but, yeah, she's very much wanting this new life in Portugal with David and with Jacob. But, obviously, we know David's got huge ties to the village with Amber yeah, and with his dad. Right. And But with everything that's happened to her, I think she's just desperate for this fresh start. Yes. And it's, it's kind of ploughing ahead with it. And, and David's been typical David and not really saying to Alicia, oh, I'm, I don't really want to do this. You know, yes. He keeps reassuring her. So we'll have to see whether they get there and, you know, and if they do get there, whether they'll stay there. And there's a lot of twists and turns sure. still to come. Well, we'll be there at 7 o'clock tonight, as Bye. always.